Basilisk, 200 watt mod from Centaurian Vapor. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Basilisk from Centaurian Vapor, a 200 watt resin bodied mod. No TC, no TCR. It does, however, have uh, power management options. Uh, you've got user control of your wave. Uh, you've also got the ability to do a soft star, a hard star, etc. I'll show you all that when we go down low. Dual 18650 uh, in series configuration. Uh, it's a lovely sort of square shape with this uh, resin body and a range of resin colours available for this. Um, seems to be retailing in the UK around £80-ish, around $90-$100 in America. So not the cheapest, but uh, decent quality it's got to be said. Let's go down low, have a really nice look at this, then come back up top. For pros and cons, there are a few quirks with this. I'll put that straight out there. Um, let's go down low, have a look at it, then come back up top for pros and cons. See you in a sec. Okay, guys, here we are up close with the Basilisk mod from Centaurian Vapor. So, pretty cool packaging. Uh, take this off. It comes with uh, instruction booklet. It also comes with these. Now, <laughs> don't know how well these will show up on camera. But uh, these little discs, you put them underneath your um, atomizer and they stop you getting atirash on the mod. A nice little touch, that. A nice little touch to get those inside. Pretty cool. But other than that, in the box you get absolutely nata. Nothing. So, this is the mod. I'll give you a nice look around. I've got sort of a bluey-yellow resin one. Bit of red on this side. Nice cheeky look round like that okay so we've got our 510 on top uh, spring-loaded 510 uh, it seems like you can get 24 mil atomizers without any overhang but anything bigger than that and it starts to get a bit tricky uh, we have our battery door underneath here we've got the centaurian logo on there opening her up and you've got uh, room for two 18650s and it does tell you on the inside of the door which way around to go and the door works effortlessly and it's perfectly flush and seamless uh, so no issues there coming around to the screen one two three four five and you are on centaurian it says across the top um, now on the screen we have where we are at so we've got 38 watts we've got our resistance our voltage 96% uh, battery life we'll talk about that up top uh, and then we have what we're doing with our vaping. So we've got uh, standard, it pressing plus and fire, and you can change to powerful, powerful plus, uh, rebuild, that is your ability to adjust, standard, powerful, powerful plus and rebuild. So there we go. If we go into the uh, rebuild, uh, you can see you have your power curve. So you can up your power here like this 155 watts that first blast then go down like that next one at 90 next one at 20 and you can adjust your custom power curve however you like to get out of that um, you just let leave it a minute and it stays in that screen uh, you can then move back to standard if standard is what you wish Fire a minus flips the screen, as you can see. I like how instant that is. That's really cool. And then uh, fire and plus locks up the thing, so you can't adjust your uh, wattage when you've got it locked, but you can still fire it, which is a nice touch. Five clicks off, and we are off again. There we go. So that is the Basilisk from Centaurian. Pretty good. Let's go back up top, talk about pros and cons. Okay, guys, that was the Basilisk up close and personal. Uh, let's just let's just get into it, guys. Pros and cons. Now, in terms of negatives, there have been a few reports of various kinks and quirks with the actual board in here. Now, I've heard reports that the ohm reading resistance is slightly off, up and down. 
I haven't had that problem really. Mine's pre pretty much bang on with its resistance readings, which is absolutely fine. Uh, the other thing I've heard banded about about this is the battery readout on the screen. Now, I have had this. Uh, I've spoken to four or five other reviewers and it seems mixed. Some people have had this issue, some people have had no issue with the battery readout. So what it's doing, what it seems to be doing with mine is it seems to stay on really high percentage for too long. So it'll say 100% for ages and it'll say 95% for quite a while as well when in reality on something like a DNA mod it'd be saying 80%, 70%. It eventually does seem to catch up with itself and go down um, and it definitely does cut off when it gets very low. Uh, so it is managing to read it internally but the actual readout on the screen seems like way too generous. Um, I guess it's not a major negative, it's just something to be aware of. When this is saying 95%, in reality it's probably about 70%, 65%, something like that. It's a really strange one. It's a really strange one. Um, I don't know. I, I would expect they might do a little firmware fix in the factory and, and prevent this problem on the mass-produced versions that come out for retail. Um, if you do have this problem, obviously, you know, you can send it back if you like. Uh, it does seem to be hit and miss as to whether they're having this problem or not. Uh, obviously, you can send it back if you're having that problem, but also you can just live with it. I'm living with mine. When mine says about 60%, I'm changing the battery. And that's just how I'm doing it. And it is lasting a really long time. The battery life is excellent to get to that 60%. So it's a funny one. You know, it's reading out the wrong percentage battery on the thing obviously a negative if yours is doing that a lot of people's aren't um, so and on the reading of the ohms mine isn't doing that so I can't really speak on that again if that's a real problem for you I would send it back uh, so there we go uh, it sounds like it's not wide a wide issue it just sounds like a handful of reviewers that's what's happened to them beyond that if we were looking for negatives um, I guess you have to say not a negative for me at all, but the fact it doesn't have TCR, TCR may be a negative for you. Let me know in the comments if that is a negative for you, the fact it doesn't have TC. Um, it'd be interesting to know. Also, the screen, I guess you could accuse it of being quite basic to the modern standard, all these fancy screens we get now. Um, and Again, not an issue for me, but I know there are fancier screens out there, so maybe something to be aware of. Um, lastly, I've heard... A real mixed reaction to this on Instagram. I've put my pictures on Instagram of this and all that sort of stuff, and on Facebook and social media, Twitter, whatever. Uh, I get a really mixed response. Some people are really digging the looks of this. Some people are saying it's a bit too boxy. And I know what they mean. It is quite boxy. To give you a size comparison, uh, what would be a fair comparison? I've got my old Sigeli Fuchai here. So it's, um, it is wider, way wider and thicker than the Fuchai, but not as tall. So yeah, I guess you could go along with that statement that it is a bit boxy. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit square, it's a little bit boxy. Uh, again, that's, that's such a minor thing, but it may be something you're thinking, so there we go. Uh, beyond that though, I've got to say, beyond those things I've just mentioned, really impressed with this. Uh, I think the fit and finish is really nice. Um, I love this sort of resin feel in the hand, very very nice indeed. I like all the colours I've seen so far of these, I think there are sort of five and they're all slightly unique but um, yeah I, I really like the colours that I've seen so far. This one is a bit sort of a maddy greeny bluey yellow and there's a few splashes of red on the other side as well. You know quite uh, it's quite quite good looking I think, I think it's a very good looking mod. Really nice fit and finish, I like that it simply says basilisk on top in an italic font and on the bottom it's just got the centaurian logo you know they haven't tried to crowbar their names all over this thing it's it is pretty to the eye it is sort of of that high-end style so i've got to say i'm pleased with that the door is very nice no issues there no wobble or rattle on this again fit and finish very very good indeed and i haven't heard any complaints about anything to do with the actual quality of it built you know so that's a good thing as well. Oh, I should point out as well, actually, uh, I did see that uh, Vaping Fagan dropped his and the face came off. But if you drop in something like this, uh, it's going to cause problems. So, again, I'm not going to massively hold that against it. Uh, these are the sort of mods that... There's sort, some mods in life that you're happy to throw around. There's some mods that you aren't. I wouldn't be happy to throw this around. So, 
that was a bit of bad luck for him, but uh, I'm not going to knock it for breaking when dropped. Um, it doesn't claim to be in any way rugged or strong. So that's that. Uh, really well put together, really nice. Uh, the vape time, when you hit the button, it's quick. It's quick. It feels quick. It feels responsive, which is nice. Uh, the actual power it's giving, for me, has been absolutely fine. I don't have an oscilloscope, so I can't nail on the stats or put up any graphs. Uh, but for me, it feels right. 38 watts uh, with a 0.7 I've got on with my Hurricane. And it feels like 38 watts. If I put it on another mod, it feels the same. So the output feels good for me. Um, the user control, power wave curve thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, that does work. Tried that. I've gone high and high and low and high. And it seems to be absolutely fine. So all functionally, um, overall, you know, not bad. Fit and finish, superb. Looks for my eye are very nice indeed. Uh, I really like it. It depends what you're after. If you're a 200 watt mod enthusiast, and you just fancy something a little bit more special, you know, slightly more expensive, but a little bit more special. I think this is definitely worth looking at. Um, you might have a fair accusation that it does look like certain other things, um, but it's got its own unique sort of flashes on here, these triangular shapes. Uh, it's its own, you know, colour pattern of resin. So I think it's, um, I think it's unique enough and uh, decent enough. I, I'm impressed with mine, I'm happy with mine. Obviously the battery thing is a slight thing on mine, but overall I am impressed with this box mod and I like it. So if, if you were on the fence but you were very interested about getting one of these, I would say it's definitely worth a look. I've been Vic and I'll see you again soon.